Deontay, how uh, shocked were you, I guess, by the, the trade of Christian and just what were your initial thoughts when you heard about it? I mean, it's business, you know. Um, it's been, I guess, circulating for weeks now. So you just, you know, I mean, it's tough for him, I'm sure, you know. But um, his business is part of the game. Um, so I wish him the best of luck. And, you know, I hope he goes out there and, you know, does what he normally do. What does that mean or what does that do to the running backs locker room? I know a lot of you guys um, looked up to him, work ethic. He's been with the team for a while. Um, I mean, somebody else got to step up, you know. We got to take over the room and, you know, just do what we could do to help this team. You know, um, we still got a long season, still got plenty of games to play. So, you know, we can't, we can't just focus on that. We got to focus on the next game and, you know, just what we could do to get better and find a way to improve. What type of message do you feel it sends when the front office trades its best player? Uh, like I said, it's business, you know. I mean, I'm not in the front office. I don't, I don't know what goes into all of that. I don't know what they, you know, what was behind all that. But I just know that, you know, we signed up for this business, and you know, at any moment, you know, we could be, we could be here, and then we could be somewhere else the next day. So. You just never know with this, so you just got to come in each and every day, focus, you know, and just do what you can to, you know, be the best you can be when the, when your number's called. But is there a sense that you guys, I mean, if this says, hey, we've given up on the season? I mean, I don't know what the front office feel like, but for me and other guys in that locker room, I know that, you know, there's opportunities out there, you know, and in this league, when you get your opportunities, you know, you gotta you gotta be productive, you gotta go out there and do what you gotta do. Um, I think um I mean I'm here because of last year and my opportunity that was presented to me. So um, you know, like I'm a guy who's been in that situation before and knows what it means to capitalize on those situations. So it's a long season left. About that, Deontay, two different circumstances, but do you see similarities in well what you went through last year be beneficial for you in this spot? Um, like what do you mean? Like, How similar, aside from the trade versus the Derek injury, uh, is this kind of what you just mentioned about your chance to, to go grab it? Oh yeah, I mean for sure. I mean at the end of the day, um, you know, when you when you play behind guys like Derek and, and Christian, you know, those guys are going to get majority of the load so when you when you have an opportunity like this you got to go make the best of it you know and like I like I've said before like I prepare each and every day each and every game like I'm a, like I'm going to play or you just never know what happens injuries and anything so you always have to be ready to go so um, it, it hasn't changed anything with my preparation or the way I carry myself or the way I go into the game I'm just saying that basically that this opportunity is you know just as just as big as it was last season for me Still like tanking for the organization here? No, nah, not really. I mean, like I said, it's business. I don't know what goes into all of that and what the decisions were made and why they were made. But um, I just know we still got a long season to play, and I'm here, so I want to do what I can do to help this team. Coach Wilkes raved about the energy at practice this morning. What were some of your main takeaways from it? Um, I mean, you know, we're just trying to win. You know, guys are trying to get better. Um, like I said before, those guys in that locker room, nobody's quitting, nobody's giving up. You know, we still got a long season to play. I mean, if we go out there and handle our business. I mean, we we still got a long, you know, um, division. You know, we can still go win win our division. You know what I mean? We still want to know in the division right now. So I mean, still positives out there. You know, we just got to look at those positives and take take away from that. You know what I mean? Have you been told whether you'll start? Uh, no, no, they never told us anything yet. Uh, sense yet on the kind of breakdown by carries or reps? No, nah, I mean, no, nah, not really. Probably by committee or something like that, but I'm not really sure exactly what what they want to do. Uh, I just know I'll be ready whenever my number's called and try to make the best of my opportunities, like I said before. Is it tough to get into a rhythm, in a, you know, by committee, hot hand, whatever you want to call it, type situation? Um, I mean, maybe, but, um, you know, like, at the end of the day, like I've been in these situations before, um, in plenty of different situations in my life and in my career. So um, competing or you know by committee like this, I don't even worry about that type of stuff. I feel like you know the best guy I play and you know whoever goes out there and does you know what what needs to be done, you know they'll 
you know, they had reaped the benefits of that. So, you know, I'm not even focused on that. I'm just focused on what I could do, how I could prepare each and every week, each and every day, and how, to, how I handle myself, you know. Yeah, the, um, Coach Wilkes said that it was important to Christian to address the team, say goodbye. Uh, what were your impressions of what Christian said to you, said to y'all? I haven't talked to him, so I don't know what that. Yeah. Oh. Apologies, misunderstood. Carry on. Did you get a chance to text him or anything? <laughs> nah, not yet. Um, I was planning on doing that probably a little later on in the day. Um, and just let him know that, man, I appreciate him. You know, he was a great guy, you know, a great leader. Um, you know, one of the best backs in this league, you know, and just being able to play behind him and just watch certain things and how he carried himself. Also, with just being behind Derek, you know, I think it, uh, like, again, helps me in this situation, in this position, and how I attack it and how I go about my business, you know what I mean? So definitely thankful for just being able to be around him, you know, just the leadership he gave and just, you know, him just being a good friend, a good, a good person, good man. What makes you believe this team can still win without Christian and Robbie gone? I mean, we still got a lot of guys in that locker room that, that have ability, um, you know, and, we, and I believe in that, you know. Um, I can't speak for everybody, but I can speak for myself, you know, and I'm, I'm very confident in what I bring to the table, very confident in what I could do, you know what I mean? And, you know, a lot of people may feel like whatever they may feel like, but honestly, I, I can care less about that. I just know what I bring to the table and what I could do, and, you know, I just got to go prove that. You know, and I feel like I've done it before. I could do it again. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.